Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss the topic of study state error. Here, the name itself is study state error. So before that, first discuss what is the error. Generally, in any system, we are giving the input. We are giving the input for any system and we should take some output. Generally, from this, we can define the error. Error is represent like this e of t equal input minus output. The difference between the input and output is known as the error. E of t is the error, r of t is the input, c of t is the output generally. But at t equal infinite, whenever t reaches the infinite time, this error becomes steady state error. This error become steady state error. Why steady state error? So generally, a system, we have a one system. That system, we are getting the output is like this. So output is like this. The C of T, whenever it have the oscillations, after some time, it doesn't have any oscillations. Up to this period is called as transient state time and this is called the steady state time. Generally this is represents with starts from t equal infinite. So here also error becomes steady state error. Whenever t reaches infinite the error becomes the steady state error. So it is represent like this. So error is s that means steady state equal to limit t reaches infinite e of t simply whenever time reaches infinite the error is known as the steady state error it is in complete time domain if you convert into the frequency domain we are using the final value theorem so according final value theorem the time domain will be converted into the frequency domain according final value theorem the steady state error can be li right like this ESS will become limit t whenever t reaches infinite then in this it will become s tends to 0 okay s tends to 0 that means limit s tends to 0 then error is multiplied with the e of s error is multiplied with the e of s okay this both is same this is for in time domain and it is in the frequency domain or s domain we can name it as the s domain so by using this we can write the diagram the block diagram like this here input is the r of s that r of s will give to the system which consists which give to the supply of the system the system is have the g of s is the system yes from the system it will generate the output c of s it will generate the output c of s and take the unity feedback here the unity feedback and this, this feedback is the negative feedback and now here R of S is entering the signal and the C of S also entering the signal with negative sign then you should take this is the signal of E of S signal of E of S the combination of R of S and C of S we will give the E of S why why we are taking the error means we are continuously up, continuously applying the input by taking the by taking the output by analyzing these two and wherever the error becomes zero error becomes zero the system is perfectly operating so here for this system we can write a statement that is continuous changing input continuous changing input that means the input the r of s is continuously giving to the system 
of control system to get the desired output to get desired output so in order to get this desired output c of s we are continuously giving the input r of s right now we will find out the the transfer function between the error and the input r of s error and the input r of s okay so in order to find out this once again you redraw this here here we are giving the signal is r of s and the system is summation point then it is giving to the open loop transfer function that is g of s it will give the output is the c of s and from this it will apply to the negative feedback apply to the negative feedback so this is the unity feedback right so we have to find out the transfer function between error and the reference signal so if you are if you are apply the Moses gain formula for this I will write directly E of s by R of s is like this so between so this is the signal of E of s this negative better to write here that means this signal is negative signal this is the positive signal generally so the gain between R of s and E of s is directly going that is the one okay and what is the loop here 1 plus 1 minus of loop is gs with minus 1 minus g of s loop is minus g of s so from this we can write 1 by 1 plus g of s so directly we can write the transfer function between the error and the input is 1 by 1 plus g of s this is the transfer function between the 1 by 1 plus g of s we will follow the another method also to get this here the another method is we will write like this so generally we will follow the another method ORR we can take the another method this is the first method to find out the transfer function we will use the second method also here the second method the E of s is the signal which will take R of s minus C of s so first here E of s equal to R of s minus C of s input minus output directly but what is the C of s value C of s is nothing but E of s, e of s into G of s here error is the signal which is multiplied by the transfer function G of s the E of s into g of s it's right here here the r of s c of s equal to g of s into e of s okay so we will find here e of s <coughs> bring this term to outside that is g of s into e of s equal to r of s okay just common e of s from these two terms you will get one one from here g of s is from here and equal to r of s yes from this we will write e of s error by r of s equal to 1 by 1 plus g of s 1 by 1 plus g of s so this is the transfer function between the error and the input error and the input same we can use any method this method and this method okay here we can write the study state error we can write the study state error like this so by using that formula we can write the study state error equal limit s tends to 0 error value equal s tends to 0 s into e of s so here limit 
s tends to 0 and 1 by 1 plus g of s. We can write s into r of s by 1 by 1 plus g of s. 1 by 1 plus g of s. From this, in these two points, we can find out the error signal. This is the error signal e of s equal from this error signal e of s equal I will write like this r of s input by 1 by 1 plus g of s. So this is the error signal. This is the error signal. So this is the error signal r of s by 1 plus g of s. So we are applying limit s raised to 0 r of s by 1 plus g of s. Okay. Here the steady state error will depends on we are discussing about the steady state error. Here the steady state error depend on some characteristics. Some characteristics. So this steady state error depends on following characteristics. The first is the type of input. So which type of input is applied to the system? It will depends. The, how many types of input we have? Step input is there, ramp input is there, and the parabola input is there yes next second type of the system so which type of the system we are using also it will depends so that means in bracket it will depends on the g of s type of the system means it will depends on the g of s okay the steady state error depends on the two points one is the type of the input and another one is the type of the system okay I hope all of you understand this session. Thank you.